Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is Nader Ravi Gupta. Today we want to talk about Lambda controller. This Lambda controller is used in a four stroke engine and in today video we will learn what is the purpose of Lambda controller. How the Lambda controller help to achieve smokeless load increase. Before beginning the video, I want to request all of you to please go and watch the video I have made for jet air assist turbo charging because this video will be correlated and if you want to know completely about the turbo charger right from the beginning you can watch it from the description box which i will give the all the link regarding the turbo charger video which i have made so let's begin the today video of lambda controller so first let me make you familiarize with this diagram so as you can see this is the inlet to the turbocharger means the exhaust gas coming out from the individual unit is going here and after the turbine is been provided the necessary drive using the exhaust energy this is the exhaust outlet so this is the exhaust inlet and this is the exhaust outlet and this is the turbine which is getting the drive in the same way on the other end this is the compressor side the air is taking suction from the filter and after being compressed by the compressor this is the compressor here after being compressed by the compressor it going to the charge air receiver this is the charge air receiver or scavenge manifold okay this is the fuel pump which is provided in series to the individual cylinder unit now this is the fuel rack which is been controlled by the governor to the regulating shaft this regulating shaft will now can you please focus on my hand this regulating shaft is controlled by this point 1 this point 1 when will move like this at that time the index fuel rack will move in inward direction when it will move in downward direction the fuel rack will pull it out so whenever it will move up it means more amount of fuel will be going to the engine and if it is moving down less amount of fuel will be going to the engine so this shaft is called regulating shaft which is connected to governor okay this is the solenoid operated compressed air which is been provided to the compressor side of the turbo charger okay and this my friend this is the main thing which we are going to talk lambda controller it is basically a cylinder which consists of a piston on which the top part is been getting compressed air from the engine compressor system and bottom part is getting compressed air from the charge air receiver or you can say scavenge manifold so the top part of lambda controller is getting from the engine compressed air system and the bottom part is getting the from the charge air receiver so now let's see first the question is asked what is the purpose of lambda controller so the answer will be the purpose of lambda controller is to prevent injection of more fuel in the combustion chamber than can be burned during a momentary load increase very very important so with the help of this lambda controller we are controlling the amount of fuel which is going inside a cylinder for power generation depending upon the load increase okay this is carried out by controlling the relationship between the fuel index and charge air pressure so you can see here basically how we are controlling the amount of fuel going inside a cylinder is by regulating the regulating shaft means by controlling the regulating shaft we are controlling 
the amount of fuel which is going to the fuel index through fuel pump to into the cylinder so there is a relation between the fuel index and this charge air receiver let's see how now let's see this the diagram opposite illustrate how the controller work in case of a momentary load increase okay now we are seeing the diagram so this is the fuel pump this is the fuel index this is the regulating shaft and this is the regulating rod and this is a lambda controller so what is happening in case of a momentary load increase now suppose the load was 340 and we have started a ballast pump and sudden load increase 40 kilowatt so now what will happen basically as the load will increase the rpm will drop because of the demand of power the more fuel need to be injected now how much amount of fuel need to be injected that is being controlled by the lambda controller but during that time the amount of fuel which is going to be injected should not be injected very much more otherwise it will rest down it will, it will over speed trip and after that if it should also not be less otherwise it will not cope up with the load so the precise correct amount of fuel need to be injected that is being controlled by lambda controller also taking care that there should not be any smoke coming out from the trunking while the load increase or decrease let's see how basically now see the governor will increase the fuel index now as simple very simple you know if there is a big motor we are started at that time the load will increase so the governor will try to inject more fuel by pushing the this regulating shaft inward direction as you can see if the regulating shaft is pushed inward direction as i have told you this will go up this will go up direction as it will go up this one point on the top of the one one is the regulating arm on the regulating arm top there is a pickup switch fitted this pickup sensor switch will touch the piston of the lambda controller one more i once more i will tell you what is happening when the load is increasing at that time the governor will sense the load increase and will try to inject more fuel by pushing up the index how it will push it will try to push the regulating arm on the upward direction as it will push the regulating arm in upward direction there is a pickup sensor fitted here in number 0.2 this will touch the piston as the pickup sensor will touch the piston of the lambda controller it will complete the electrical circuit okay it will complete the electrical circuit now as soon as it touches the number 3 will touch the number 2 it will open this solenoid valve through the controller as it will open the solenoid valve compressed air from here will go to the compressed side now you try to understand this thing what is happening we are injecting more fuel now as we are injecting more fuel in order to have a efficient combustion we need more amount of air in a shorter period of time so that in that short period of time cannot be compensated by this turbocharger so what we are doing we are providing extra air from the engine compressed air system by the solenoid control operating mechanism so that we can have a efficient combustion smokeless combustion so what is happening as the load sense has been increased is sensed at that time what it is doing it is governor is injecting more fuel as it is going to inject more fuel at that time to have efficient combustion this number two having will touch the number three piston the number two is pickup sensor which is placed on number one will touch the piston 
and it will complete the electrical circuit as you can see and what will happen it will open the number 4 valve how the electrical circuit complete you see this like this and this now right now it is open when it touches this whole electrical circuit is completed and this will open and as this will open more amount of air will go that amount of air will be compensated with the extra amount of fuel which is necessary for building up the necessary speed for compensating the increasing load so this is how the lambda controller is helping the extra load increase by providing extra fuel with extra air so what is happening the solenoid valve 4 is energized and open this will open the jet system is activated what is this system let me give you a synopsis what is happening in this system what happened the air from the engine compressor system through a reducing valve is injected at 4 bar to a compressed air side as it is injected to the compressed air side the amount of air required will be made available for efficient combustion and as well as the compressor is accelerated so that the overall rpm required for that efficient combustion is achieved now as you can see here the turbocharger accelerated and the increase the charge air pressure thereby so what is happening when the number 4 valve is opening after it touches the number 2 touches number 3 the jet system is getting activated what is jet system i have told you okay the turbocharger is getting accelerated and because the turbocharger is getting accelerated it will produce more amount of compressor that will be required for efficient combustion because of more amount of fuel is getting injected because of increasing load okay so pushing the piston now okay the turbocharger accelerated and increases charge air pressure thereby pushing the piston 3 up now as you can see what will happen when the pressure in the top now when the circuit is getting completed the air is on the top of that four bar suppose now the piston when the required amount of air pressure is developed by the turbocharger that air is going on the bottom side of the lambda controller so that will make the piston balance that is very very important part means now the question is that okay as i am saying that air will go from here and it will increase the rpm of the compressor now how long it will increase and how long it will be open it need to be certain no? so that is been controlled by lambda controller also what will happen this piston will get balanced and as the piston will get balanced this there will be a gap in between the circuit and the circuit will break and the circuit will as it will break it will stop the air injection so how the circuit will break when the required amount of air is provided which is sufficient for providing the amount of charge air pressure that is required for efficient combustion is produced at that time that will also be acting on the bottom of the piston and therefore the system will get balanced and there will be a gap in between which will cause the circuit to break and stop the jet air okay so this is how a lambda controller work i hope i have given you a clear idea that how a lambda controller or four stroke engine work if you have any doubt you can please do comment below i will explain further and if you like the video please do subscribe and please do share my request to all of our friends all of our friends who are watching to the end first of all i'm very thankful to you and second please do share and subscribe and please do share our video in your social platform like facebook whatsapp instagram telegram 
WeChat, whatever platform. My only main aim is that so that all the friends of our marine field or other field also can get benefited. So please help me through this drive. Thank you, friend. Have a good day.